The last six months have offered a lot for the community around Obsidian and personal knowledge management in general. But there's one thing that I think is worth pointing out, and it's a feature that we've been waiting for since the inception of Obsidian. Hey folks, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work, and today we're going to take a look at that one thing, and it is the live preview mode in Obsidian's Insider Build. Let's hop over to Obsidian and take a look. Hey, future Justin budding in here before we dive into the specifics of this video with a couple of corrections. I published an original version of this video just a few hours ago and completely, utterly didn't realize that this feature is available for all users of Obsidian at this moment in time. I completely failed to do the research on this, so I apologize for that. Uh, there's another little edit that I've made in the video here too about how the live preview mode currently handles tables as well. But just wanted to say sorry about that, made some corrections in this version. Let's get back to looking into the live preview mode in Obsidian. All right, so over on the screen here, we have a normal Obsidian window. If you're wondering, this is the Things 3 theme. Uh, you can find it in the uh, themes dashboard inside of the application settings here. Now, on the surface, this looks pretty normal, but when I start doing things like typing a wiki link, hello, look, we come off of that and it looks like a normal link now. If I click on it, you can see the double wiki link brackets there, the double brackets for the wiki link. Or if I were to embed another note, let's see here, I've got this pasted image from a seminar that I'm doing right now of the uh, power curve. It embeds right in the note inside the preview. Pretty handy, right? Now to turn on live preview, if you didn't already, when you first opened up Obsidian after it updated, including it, you can head over to settings, go to editor, it's the main page here, and then default editing mode. You can switch source mode to live preview. Now you do have to turn off this setting here, use legacy editor, and it will require a full relaunch of the application because it changes a lot of the background infrastructure that's running the editor that you see on the screen. I believe this is something custom that the Obsidian team has put together, whereas they were using an out of the box solution prior, which is why you needed to use the edit and the preview modes. So I personally love this way of writing, and a lot of times I don't even use the preview mode or the, the reading mode as it's called. You can still access that though. Uh, in the things theme, it's this little glasses thing here. And the thing about the reading mode is that you don't get the YAML front matter at the top. You just get the reading view of it. When you hover over stuff, you get the preview if you have that enabled. Uh, whereas in the live preview mode, you again see the YAML front matter, but then you also, when you hover over links and things of that sort to notes inside of your vault, you don't get live preview. You just get a cursor change letting you know that you can click on this and then make edits to it. Another quick jump in here. If you're using the live preview mode, that's not entirely correct. Uh, instead, what you do is you hold down control while you're hovering over a link, and then that will give you the preview. Sorry for the mix up on this one. What I think is really nice about this though, is that it hides all of the markdown syntax. That can get really, really noisy inside of your vault, especially when you have long, noisy links that you've pulled from a website somewhere, and it can really just inhibit the reading process. So for example, if I open up this note here and I grab this URL, and let's say I'm writing article about INFJs, which is a personality type for the Myers-Briggs. Here's an interesting one. And if I wanna link this, I'll just hit Command K, actually just Command K, not Command L, cause that's my template key. Paste that in there. And you can see that if I were to continue writing here, and this is expanded, you can see that really interrupts the reading flow. You've got this bracket here. You've got to try to discern while you're reading it. 
hello, I'm continuing to write, and then you gotta move on. Now imagine you've got a big block of text and a few different links in there. It can really mess stuff up. And then to the solution to that traditionally in Obsidian is you just flip back and forth between edit and preview. Edit, here's the preview mode. You don't see any of that stuff. Well, now with the live preview mode, you don't have to context switch at all or open up two panes, one with the edit view, one with the reading view, if you want to make changes to your note while you're reading through it and just trying to get a holistic understanding of the way things are in that note, what you've written or what you've captured from somewhere else. So then I just click off of that and then it hides it all. And if I wanna open that link, all I have to do is control or command click on it, easy. One more caveat with the live preview editor, and that's markdown tables. This is what a markdown table looks like. You've got pipes and columns, and then these denote a header, and these are the actual items here. If we look into regular reading view, you can see this renders nicely in a table, but back in the live preview mode, this does not currently render very nicely. I can imagine it's a fairly tricky problem to try to render a markdown table live and make it live editable. I don't blame the developers for not having this one sorted out at this moment in time. So this is a major caveat if you're a large user of markdown tables in Obsidian. I'm not, so it's not a huge deal for me, but if you do use markdown tables on a fairly regular basis, do know that live preview will not render them. They're still the markdown. There's some nice you know, markup here. You can kind of see this is a heading, this is the header denotation, and then this is the uh, information in the table. But do know that if you wanna see a fully rendered markdown table, you do have to go into preview or the reading mode to see them. I personally love the live preview mode. And if you pair it with a perfectly good theme, you're in good standing and in a nice quality, free flow editing and writing and note taking format. Not having to switch back and forth between modes to find a nice reading view, plus being able to just quickly and easily edit right in the view that you're reading in while you're say doing some progressive summarization on notes is a perfect place to be. I think this makes Obsidian the killer note-taking app for 2022. But what do you think? I wanna hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. It helps other people find our channel and learn more about Obsidian, remote work, and productivity. Again, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.